The leader of the Ladies in White, a civil group made up of family members of political prisoners, got a special meeting with Havana's new archbishop this week. Our Hatsavella, the one and only reporter from a local TV station in the U.S. to report inside Cuba, caught up with Soler to talk about the visit. Ladies in White leader Berta Soler sits with Local 10 to talk about her recent meeting with Havana's new Archbishop, Juan de la Caridad Garcia. Soler says she told the Archbishop about her group's struggles. Soler claims she and other women were told they could never go to church and says she was told by Cuban state security that we're going to make sure her group will cease to exist. The repressions continue, she says, and now the Cuban government is going after the family of her members, she says. While we were at her home in Lawton, a neighborhood in Havana, there were several police cruisers parked outside and people, she says, are undercover state security. Soler says the Archbishop has urged the Cuban government to dialogue with the opposition. Overall, she called the meeting positive and fruitful. Garcia, she says, was receptive to their words. We also talked to Soler about President Donald Trump and his latest comments on Cuba. We had a really good discussion about Cuba because we have very similar views on Cuba. She sees Trump's words as something good. Soler says former President Barack Obama's approach towards Cuba was not the best, especially when it comes to human rights. But Cuban political analyst Carlos Alzugaray sees it differently, adding that Trump's words are not reliable. My bet is that the Cuban government is going to react to concrete proposals of the American side. Alzugaray reminds us both governments have already signed 22 agreements on issues like immigration, human trafficking, and counter-narcotics. I'm Hat Sovella, Local 10 News, Havana. And so thanks a lot. Archbishop Garcia gave Soler a Bible as a gift and told her she could come back anytime.